Hey, thanks for watching. If you're enjoying the content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. If you want me to play your deck on stream, feel free to reach out. Contact information in the description below. Also, I stream Legacy Live almost every day at twitch.tv slash unzmtg. So come by and say hi. It's time for some magic. Let's get to it. Deep video today, and we're playing a variation of the Bant deck. Today we are running... Uh, we're adding in some tech that I've stolen from GP champion Mark Eric Vogt, who has been playing uh, an interesting version of this deck. So he published a list that had Wasteland and Life from the Loam in 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 uh in this deck. I have very much so been impressed by Expressive Reiteration in this four color build. Also having access to lots of Pyroblast. Blood Moon is not very very relevant in the format right now, so I think I'm able to get away with this. Uh, however. Uh, Loam has been looking really, really fine, and Wasteland as well here. Uh, adjustments that I've made to the list involve, let's see, we shaved one Terminus from the main deck, put that in the sideboard, and in the sideboard, we cut uh, one Flusterstorm for the fourth Pyroblast and one Endurance for the Terminus that we uh, removed from the main deck here. So not really too much to uh, you know discuss. I, I think Loam Wasteland adds a lot to the deck right now based on the relevance of... Uh, Urza Saga in the format. Wasteland looking pretty good here, but yeah, otherwise I think everything is pretty stock. Let's get into some games. Hope you guys enjoy. See ya. Yo, this hand's pretty fire. Keep. Brainstorm, Prismatic Ending, Terminus. Good against creatures. Got a game plan. Should be fine. Uh, interesting to see. I mean, if we draw Loam in this situation, would that actually be good? I gotta check my configuration real quick. What do we... How much mana do we have? We have 22 lands, so I cut the second Terminus. Okay, for the Loam, so that should be fine. I'm just gonna go ahead and play the Misty Rainforest out. I generally don't really think too much about the lands when I'm playing them, uh, unless it really, really matters. Playing against potentially Painter, though. SD Bob Pluskin, yeah, so Bloodstained Mire, sure. This matchup's gonna be tricky, I think. Hopefully it's not Black Red, though. Okay, Mountain, Goblin Welder, that's fine. And here. Yep, just untap, take a draw. Tundra, pretty good draw. Get rid of this thing ASAP. This card is so hard to beat if it's left unchecked. Like, it makes the deck crazy turbo. I mean, it's honestly, like, scarier than some of the other stuff that the deck can do. Like, Painter, Grindstone is cool, but, like, the, the amount of defense that you get from playing Goblin Welder is just actually absurd. Mm, all right, we've got Forest, Taiga... And I think we are just down to pass here. I don't know if I am even ever supposed to fire off the Jace here. I, I, oh, that's a good reason not to fire off the Brainstorm. Um, okay. Prismatic ending number two. Ooh, wee. Okay, I'll just play the Flooded Strand here and we'll see what happens. So next turn they go tick up to two. And then technically they could like not make a second Saga token and fetch Painter and just kill me all in the same turn. That would be a little bit rough. I will not lie about that. I'm going to get a Tropical Island here. Just keep up the green and step Brainstorm. Ooh, that is definitely a reason to have done this at a different time. But, all right, so the Wasteland looking pretty fine here. Uh, I don't think I want either the Taiga or the other cards, so let's just go ahead and shuffle. We've got green, green. And now I think either I'm supposed to get... So we don't have Plateau in this deck. Not like we can fetch it with the Misty Rainforest anyways. So maybe I'm just supposed to get the Volcanic Island and then just not have access to some things. Uh, okay, upkeep. We get what? Uro. Ooh, that's a good one. So I think I'm just going to play the Uro and then just put the Wasteland into play. Pick up Force Negation. That's awesome. And from here... I think it's important to make sure that they don't get to actually tick up the Saga to three. They should just spend this turn making a token, I think, which is fine, and I'm going to Wasteland it. And now things are looking pretty good here. So Wasteland has already looked kind of insane, which is really good. I mean, it's, it's I think in this matchup, oh, man, that's not a good sign. Um, we'll go ahead and pitch the Ponder. I think they're going to Pyroblast, but even if that happens... Oh, wow, it just resolves? No way. There's no way that's actually a thing thing. Maybe they don't want to... I don't even know how to proceed here. I want to draw a white source. Okay, that's also reasonable. Blue, blue, green. Green, go force, misty, brainstorm, flooded strand, prismatic, and then keep the wasteland in there for the loam. It's probably the best card here. They might... They just don't have pyroblast. That's insane. What? What? They just don't have pyroblast? There's no way that's right. 
they could go like painter grindstone one two three activate so they would have to draw pyroblast this turn to really do something here what is this enlightened tutor okay no plateau fellow plat well i'm an ex plateau gamer now i guess so it uh it is uh what it is all right that's gonna resolve i don't know if they like sandbag the if they sandbag the uh red blast for this long but now they have to have blast and uh something else so i guess we're fine question mark I guess I'll start with an attack. Three plus one. This is fine. Attack with the Uro. Get the trigger. No. And I think they're just going to take the damage here. Yeah, 100%. Ponder. Okay. Prismatic ending. Endurance. Okay, endurance is actually totally fine because it'll protect us from combo. Shuffle the library. No. And then finally get rid of this. Cool. Now all is well. And endurance is also awesome because, like, it is non blue. Enlightened Tutor in their upkeep. Okay. What is this for? Urza Saga? Oh, Ensnaring Bridge. That's... Ensnaring Bridge is beaten by the Prismatic Ending, which means we're in a good spot. So that's going to resolve. And then... Let's see. Nice. Well, actually, we knew that was there. This is Naya. Okay. This one's not really close, this game. I don't know what actually happened. They just didn't draw into Pyroblast. They kept a hand with Welder Karn, which is totally reasonable. And then just pass through the turn here. And, I mean... It's kind of crazy, right? This is like the real reason why I'm adding red. I know Koval in like a tweet had put out that red blast is the biggest reason to play red. And while I don't disagree with that, I think X equals like four colors for prismatic ending is really, really close to red blast. Like, I don't even think red blast is like that crazy good in the format or like for the bad. Okay, no, okay, that, that's, that's kind of stupid to say. Red blast is actually just insane in the format, right? But like, the impact of your best removal spell or one of your best removal spells hitting more, like just being even more generalized or whatever, is so important. Okay, well, we're just going to keep attacking, I guess. Plague Engineer here would be cool. I, I don't know. Okay, I don't know if my point actually came out across correctly, but what I'm trying to say is it's really nice that you can uh, get rid of four drops with a prismatic ending. Just like a big problem solver, I guess. They're going to block here, and then we're just going to... Get rid of the uh, the Goblin Welder, which I think is kind of straightforward play. And I, you know what? Because we have one of each, I think I'm just going to go for the Swords to Plowshares on the Imperial Recruiter. For a while, I was dabbling with three Swords to Plowshares. The problem with Swords to Plowshares is that, like, it's not, like, a card advantage-based spell. So, like, you don't want to draw, like, five Swords to Plowshares in a game. You know what I mean? You want to have some degree of... Uh, yeah, so they're just dead. Okay, cool. You want to have, like, some degree of uh, flexibility card advantage like if you have only card draw or only removal spells you'll lose to the decks that like have card draw so for example you'll lose to uh you'll lose to uh oh shoot what is it called like expressive iteration out of delver and that is a big no-no uh and then if you only yeah so that's why you want to mix like i think like having like eight removal spells is that really better than having like seven removal spells in one icefang quaddle at least that was my theory and i'd set a precedent too when i was playing snow i only had three swords to plowshares and three decays and we're definitely like doing more than that with this list so i don't know kind of hard to say maybe with like wasteland like i could i don't know well there's murktide region is basically super scary but that's why i put the fourth pirate blast in the deck too so uh we'll see so against this matchup i want to have it's weird dress down's not very good against painter servant because it like it's like it's like painter servant and, and uh, oko right or like i think humility no i don't know if humility works the same way but like weird layer stuff so dress down doesn't actually stop things the way i want it to all the time uh i think force and negation is not that great but I, so maybe like two for two here they're a pretty creature based deck so i think having um the second terminus in this matchup is actually fine uh mostly to get rid of things like goblin welder goblin engineer if they have that Dress down, dress down, dress down, dress down, dress down. I don't know if I really want the dress down. Force Negation doesn't seem very good here. I mean, it's a hard castable counter spell, but it's not really where I really, really want to be. And so maybe I can cut like one Force of Will, go down to three. Like, I don't want to be trading two for one often. And then the other thing that I could maybe do, uh, you know what? We got two basics. I'm a little bit nervous about something like Blood Moon. So maybe I should, or like Magus of the Moon, rather. So maybe I should... Uh, Keep the force in it. But Dress Down is a nice answer to Magus 2, huh? Because you can, like, get the basic island, flash and Dress Down, and then do some crazy stuff there. Sylvan Library seems pretty good. Iteration, Endurance. Okay, all these other cards seem pretty good. So we'll try this and see what happens. Maybe Shark Typhoon is not the move either. The thing about, like, Shark Typhoon is, like, 
they have so many Pyro Blasts, so you're probably not going to be able to keep it in play for a while. So we can go like Tundra Tiger here, and then we have Prismatic Ending. Um, so you might just end up like cycling it, I guess, which is not very good. As they have Welder here, so yep. Okay, nice. That was a good draw. Pick up one of three Tundras. Done, and then this goes away. And now, what are we trying to beat here? So next turn, I don't even know what I want really. I think like, uh, yeah, what's even what's even good here? Like, okay, Grindstone is unfortunately fine. I think I'm supposed to get rid of that now. Nah. Ooh, okay, that's what I wanted. Yes, I didn't even know I wanted it, but that's what I wanted. Um, let's go ahead and get rid of this. They can maybe randomly generate some value. Plus, we have Swords to Plowshares, so I'm not really scared of like a Painter coming down or or something else. I think the most frightening thing that they could do is like, well, that's pretty good. Should I play that and then just get Pyroblasted? I think so, because then the Force of Will gets cleared up. Okay, so they're, they're countering this. That's fine. We pass the turn. They only have three cards in hand. Now we have Ponder coming up and Uro as well. I think if they play Karn this turn, I'm going to Force Pitching Snapcaster Mage. Snapcaster Mage doesn't seem like a very valuable card in this situation because we only have prismatic ending and and this card too magus of the moon that has to get forced and if they have a thing they have a thing they have the thing okay so i think we just die now cool uh here i could like try to draw into i could have held up the maybe if i had held up ponder we would have put savannah into play and then been able to plow it but i don't think it's surprising that they have that i don't think it's surprising that they have magus of the moon there so i'm just gonna go ahead and concede and then here the only thing, maybe I'm just supposed to cut a land. Is there a land that's worth cutting? I don't know. Dress down seems kind of important. I wonder if they're going to try and like turbo that out. Uh, or I could try. No, the problem is I don't feel like forcible is really reliable, you know? Mm. Yeah, we could just cut the shark typhoon. How about that? Sure. It's not crazy good, but is kind of what it is. Okay, this hand is nice. If we can get to turn three, I'll be pretty happy. Okay. Now the next question is, am I supposed to... What am I supposed to get here? Don't really know. Tundra. That's a great draw. Okay. Yes. Wonderful. Wonderful. So they're holding a Pyroblast here, which is admittedly annoying. We don't have Flusterstorm in our deck, so I'm not really sure what our best bets are. Goblin Welder. Okay. So they're tapping out. So that's pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and Brainstorm. And ooh, that's a good one. So now I need to make a decision here. I think what I want to do is plow this i don't have plateau though that's the problem so we don't have red white available so maybe instead of so let's just put these two back the problem is what happens if we don't hit a we have taiga though right we do have taiga if we don't hit a white source how bad is it i don't feel like it's that bad let's draw see what we pick up flooded strand mm -hmm. okay well i guess we don't have to go to him here i'm just gonna go ahead and kill this done and then let us wasteland the ancient tomb. Okay. Now we have dramatically slowed down the game. And I'm very happy. Please don't have Magus of the Moon again. That would not be nice. Magus of the Moon is a painter servant. Okay, sure. And they chose blue for real. That's so annoying. Um, Blue and then red. So I'm going to play this as bait. They're going after the tundra. Okay, awesome. Well, we have lands for days. Uh, we go for... Put the brainstorm into our hand, the ponder on the bottom, and now the volcanic. Oh, wait a minute. This is a problem because, okay, well, it's fine. I don't think we're going to die, so it'll be okay. Let's get greedy, and if we lose, we lose. I think I'm totally okay with that, but yeah, okay, so they're attacking for one. Do they have more mana? That is a very, very tricky question. I mean, I guess that'll decide the game, right? If they do or they don't. Imperial Recruiter uh, is fine i think sure okay and they got simian spirit guide what the hell why would you get simian spirit oh because you're holding red blast again okay they might vindicate another land here which i think i'm totally fine with because we have so many mana sources Ooh, that's pretty good actually right uh we want all of these we'll probably just put the flooded strand back and then maybe a brainstorm underneath that keeping in mind that we can even pitch some of these lands to the forcible now since everything is blue but they pyroblasted twice on mana sources, which I don't think is very good for them. I think for us, it's like fine. So let's see, I go Savannah, Plow, or even Caracas, Plow. I kind of want to draw both cards here. So I'm just going to do this and then just redraw everything. 
And then I think we'll be fine, right? Hopefully. They also use their Simeon Spirit Guide as well. So why don't I just get rid of this nonsense right now? And uh, I think things will be fine. Basically, like, we have a lot of lands. So I'm okay with this kind of weird gameplay situation that they're trying to put into us right now. Imperial Recruiter number two. Okay. It's annoying. I might get another Painter. Let's see, so we know this is gone. Okay, wait a minute. They revealed another Recruiter. Sure. This is the plan that, like, the Painter deck used to do all the time, like, back in the day-day. And I'm happy... Uh, it is not as good now because we have so much board presence. Like usually you'd get, we'd get Terminus. And then after that, they like, just like keep doing it. Should I just get basic Island here? Is that crazy? We have green, green, blue. We don't, we need another blue source anyways. I don't think that, yeah, I think I'm actually okay with basic Island here. As weird as that sounds. Then we have this. Okay. Uro, what do you give me? Misty Rainforest. Ooh. And we played the Flooded Strand this turn. All right. I'm just going to let this go to the graveyard then. And we can get a blue source off of this, and then we have uh, some gaming to do. This is what I'm talking about, right? Like, what are they going to do? Keep playing Imperial Recruiters? The card that I want to actually see the most right now, it just it straight up is Life from the Loam. So fingers are crossed that we uh, get to find that. I mean, I was wondering if Loam is like something that we can play like multiple copies of, and it's like so good against the, uh, the decks that just don't respect Wasteland out of control. I don't know. Uh, it's just, what are you going to do here? All right, sure. You have three one ones in play that you've spent many, many turns to put. Like, and imagine also here if they had the Pyroblast instead. Like, now that we have four lands, like, these Pyroblasts are... I think they would have much rather used them on, like, my Force of Will or something like that. You know what I mean? So, good for us, I guess. All right, so we have blue, green, green. So let's get another blue source. And I guess it'll be Tundra. Uro, green, green, blue, blue. One, two, uh, three. Actually, we can't get rid of all of these, can we? Okay, I'm going to get rid of Brainstorms because we have two more in our hand and then three lands leaving in Tundra, the actual mana source, Wasteland, and then a Flooded Strand. So this will give us Uro. And here, I guess we get to play both of the lands now, don't we? Ooh, and that's an interesting one. So Caracas, now Flooded Strand. And hopefully we will be okay from here. Mm, next turn they play Goblin Welder. Next turn, they play Goblin. They don't have any artifacts, though, so Goblin Welder's not, like, crazy good, but if, I guess one thing to think about, too, is they're, like, they've got five cards. They're only playing this, so maybe they have something like um, Karn in their hand. You know what I mean? Otherwise, like, what are they doing? Like, they would probably just be holding a Pyroblast. Ooh, let's go! That's what I'm talking about. Okay. All right. Very nice. Uh, so we will... One, two, three, four, five, six. That's fine. So we have six mana. I think I'm going to brainstorm first here, which might be a mistake, but I'm I'm pretty confident that we're going to hit what we need to hit. So I'll put back Misty, and then I'll put back um, Terminus. Loam back the Wasteland, Tundra, and the Flooded Strand, because why not? Green and green. Okay. Play the Wasteland. Get them here. And then I'm actually just going to tap the Caracas here so that we have brainstorm into... Terminus if they go like land into something crazy. I don't know. Grindstone. That should be fine, but hopefully we don't regret this later. Untap. Okay. Cancel. No. Uh, we are going to fetch because we don't want the next card. I'll grab another Tundra. And I need to be careful because if I don't have a Tundra that I can fetch at the right time, the right way, we could still die. We don't have basic planes, so it's a little bit tricky. Cancel. Do this. Okay. And then, yeah, they're just going to block again. Sure. And now I will play Jace and then Brainstorm. I don't really know how I'm supposed to tap my mana here. White, blue. Yeah, I think we should just leave up white, right? Yeah, Jace. Okay, cool. Leave up the white so that we can, like, cast Plow or something like that. And then put this Tundra back so that we can um, fetch it if we need to. And... <sighs> I still have a land drop. Should it be Tundra? I don't think so. I mean, I guess we have... What other white sources do we have? Savannah, Tundra, Tundra, Tundra. No, we actually don't have... Yeah, so that's it. No, no basic planes in this list, which does make me feel a little bit uneasy, but I'm sure it's fine. Which means I don't think I can play the... Uh, I don't think I can play the Sylvan Library this turn. Hmm. Okay. It's fine. I'm not desperate to draw more cards. Well, okay. I mean, yeah, I am. I am actually desperate to draw more cards, but like, I'm not like desperate to draw more cards. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
Okay, what do we have here? Red Elemental Blast on Jace, that is fine. I'm gonna hold my force for something that I care about. Since we have Uro, we're gonna be drawing so many resources. Cancel, no, fetch, okay. Uh, grab Tropical Island, okay. Attack, okay. Cancel, I'm not gonna draw another loam. Put no lands into play here. What's the damage? They block again. Yeah, I mean, they're at 22, they've been trucking along here for sure. So red and blue iteration. I probably should have done this pre-combat actually, just in case, but okay. Well, I'm gonna, yeah, this is unfortunate. Put this into my hand, put this on the bottom, exile this and now just play it. I'm not really worried about the Uro getting vindicated because Law likes to eat Uro. And then I think we can just discard this other Sylvan library. They probably don't have a way to get rid of the first one anyways, unless I wanted to do like something really crazy like Gigaflex and just like pay eight twice, go down to 10, and then just have like 15,000 cards in my hand or something like that. But yeah, now this one I'm going to counter blue, blue, this, this, and then actually, you know what? It seems good. Okay, cool. So we draw, cancel. Okay, that's awesome. Yeah, they're just they're just so dead. Uh, I will pay four and then pay four and then attack. And this is just, um, I mean, like if they had more mana to do things, like obviously like cutting them off of Ancient Tomb and City of Traders is like the move. I don't know. I, I, what I'm trying to say is, is like this probably would have been a game if they had access to two more mana or whatever it is. You know what I mean? So that's pretty good. Uh, let's just go ahead and get rid of the, this thing then. Done. And how many turns does it take to kill them? Three turns? That's a lot of turns. Hmm. You know what? I think I will brainstorm here though. As annoying as it is to brainstorm because of life from the loom, I really, really cancel. And then do we have another green source in the deck? Ugh, what is even left in our deck then? Cancel, and then just put back. Oh, we have everything, huh? Force, and then like a Terminus. I'm pretty sure we don't have anything. We have like Volcanics that we can fetch, but no green sources, so I may have mistapped here somewhere. I've definitely mistapped here somewhere, but that's fine. I think the clock is still going to be the same. We attack for six, and then go from there. Six, and then, oh, is it the clock still the same? No, six, and then nine. Oh, actually, so it's just not the same XD? Okay, well, that's unfortunate. Uh, we don't need the Terminus anymore. We have so many forces that it's fine. And now they're Pyroblasting this. Okay, I'm just going to force this. Uh, let's do that. And then tap. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, wait, what? Oh, we didn't have another green source, but we had another Tundra. Okay, cool. And cancel. Okay. Use Sylvan Library's ability. Yes. You know what? No, actually, I don't think I want to cancel. Cancel. And then just put this on top. And then pay for life. Attack. Uh, I'm thinking about like just loaming to put the wasteland back into my hand, but that might be a mistake. I'm just gonna play this. Well, I don't even know. Let's just discard, I guess. One, two, three, four, five, six mana. So I guess I could just discard the Uro here, um, or even the Ponder. Yeah, I think I'm okay with that. I'll just get rid of a Ponder. We can pitch the other Ponder here. We pretty much have everything that we want, anyways. Double removal spell. Um, what is this? Engineer. Okay, I think they're just dead then. Six, three, two, nine, no, ten, one. Yeah, that, that's 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 GG's. Okay, cool. I don't think they have the what is this? One, two, three, four, five. They've cast five pyroblasts this game. Yeah, I, I doubt they have another one here. That would be pretty insane. Uh, let's go ahead and do this, and I will not target anything. Not really worried about decking out. Okay, cool. And then here we will flash in the snapcaster mage and that should just be ggs do we have a source of plasters we do yeah sorry about that um there might be like a little bit of a clip here um my pc just ran out of storage space so i had to quickly delete something and here we'll just untap and attack for lethal they can't have more than one blast i guess they got like blast spirit guide blast which would be a little bit crazy but yeah there you go all right ggs see you for the next one yo this hand is fantastic i'm gonna go ahead and keep it uh, questions here are, do I fetch a duel and ponder on turn one, or do I just go, uh, you know, I don't know, Misty Pass? That's uh, a tricky one, but I think I'm going to go Misty Ponder and look for like a Force of Will or something like that, something to protect my Sylvan Library, or just more lands too. I'm pretty happy with more lands. Okay, so this is, actually, I changed my mind. I think we're just going to shuffle and, and try to get more lands. Uh, shuffle my library. If we get Wastelanded, we just get really, really hosed here. Hopefully we, we don't get like double wastelanded, I guess. Maybe I was supposed to just keep the force. But the problem is, is like if we keep the force and then we get wastelanded, birds of paradise. What the heck? Okay. I don't know what this is actually. Hmm. 
birds. Maybe it's like a Lurin. Ooh, okay. Well, if it's Lurin, one way or another. Oops, my bad. I'm just going to go ahead and jam this Sylvan Library. Seems good. They might daze it, which should be like fine. But okay, if it actually stays alive, snap, pay eight, and hope that they don't have like, I don't know. What could they possibly have? Like, they could have some stuff. I don't know. Like, some sort of, like, crazy removal. A prismatic ending, I guess. Abrupt Decay is pretty much a dead card here. Uh, hard to say. Okay, Misty Pass. There we go. Now we get to draw some life. Cards. Pay. Yes. Sylvan Library. Oh, yes. That is a lot of cards. So now we have eight cards in our hand. Expressive Iteration. We go land. Uh, do I have to discard if I play Expressive Iteration here, actually? I didn't think about that. If I go iteration, then I'm down to mm, seven cards, but I'm looking for a mana source. Yeah, I think I'll be fine here because I'll probably just end up plowing the Birds of Paradise if uh, this doesn't. Oh, wow. Okay, never mind. That's not very good for us. Uh, put the force into my hand. Mm, I needed a. I mean, honestly, even any mana source would have been better than. This, this outcome, I suppose. Force into my hand, this on the bottom, this on exile, and then should I just brainstorm? Wait, uh, man, yeah, I feel bad giving up value, so I'm just gonna brainstorm. Maybe like put back, ugh, and it was somewhere there. Yeah, we'll put back like one plow and then like one force negation. Force negation seems pretty bad here. And then just, oh yeah, I guess we can like discard Uro, so it's not that bad. That seems pretty good. And then next turn we get to buy the Uro. No, we don't get to buy the Uro back unless we find a fetch land, but, or we cast the force. That's another way to get the Uro in the graveyard. But I don't think I'm going to like spew a force just to get Uro back unless they play like something like that interacts with the Uro. Uh, maybe even, I wouldn't even stop like an endurance or something. Endurance seems pretty manageable from the sports state. But yeah, okay. So Misty Fetch, Verdant Fetch, and now they have four mana and it's Cook Collected Company. Okay, I had a sneaking suspicion that it might be this deck. Um, I've been playing against it a little bit in like premier events. They have Force Pitching Baleful Strix. Well, I'm going to Force back and I'm going to pitch, I guess, the Brainstorm here. The Cantrips are a little bit less effective. I'm nervous about them like finding something like a Hall Reacher or Opposition Agent or... Just like a bunch of stuff in general here. Now, if they have like a, a, a evoked endurance as their last two cards, I feel like I'm in a good position. The one card that is going to be kind of terrifying for me though is Grist because, well, that card is uh, okay. Yeah, so they are evoking endurance here, and they're getting rid of Leovold. And this is they have one card. I have an active Sylvan Library, and I also have Snap Plow. So this is pretty good. And we're drawing another Plow here, which I ooh ooh okay. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I see you. Here, creature removal, counter spells, blue sources. So we're in a pretty good spot actually here. Unfortunately, this thing can't attack either. So, you know, I mean, now I do regret. Well, actually, I don't even really regret getting rid of the cantrips because they would have just been taken care of with endurance. So it's not too big a deal here. And using the using the swords to plowshares on the birds of paradise is like, it's not unreasonable, but since they have so much mana. Like, the thing about their deck here is that they're so saturated with three drops that there's a world where it, it might be correct to... Uh, wait, why would you retap? Okay. There's a world where it might be correct to um, plow the bird if they don't have, like, three mana or if they're struggling. Mm, this is really awkward, actually. I think I'm just going to force this. We'll see what they do here. If they, like, go for opposition agent... Okay, yeah, then we just plow this instead. This resolves. They have no cards in hand. Okay. We have one green source, two green source, two white sources, two red sources. So maybe like another Tundra or another Tropical is the move here. I think I'm gonna get Tropical just so that I can, I think, yeah, it's just fine. Uh, and now the question is, do I start, do I just like snap plow this thing and start attacking or do I do other stuff? And I do, well, yes, I don't mind if I do. Let's see what else we're picking up here. Yes, yeah, put that on top and then put this on top and then just get rid of everything. Keep it simple, pass the turn. Force of Negation will cover Collected Company. Force of Will will cover Grist. Grist is like the scariest card, I think, here, for sure. Um, Yeah, why don't we just... They might, like, Flash and Hullbreacher here. Yeah, okay. That is fine. I will retaliate with Blue, this, and then Snap Plow the Hullbreacher. This also protects us from Noble Hierarch. Basically, like, once we get ahead on cards in this matchup, it's so hard for us to fall behind. 
because all our cards are so good against theirs. Like, they have a bunch of problematic creatures. The issue is when they start snowballing, that's when I get a little bit nervous, put on top, and then put on top, and then sure. I think I might just shuffle that, actually. I'm not a huge fan. Snapcaster Mage is pretty good, but not good enough. I think I want Uro. One, two, three, four, five. All right, I'll just go ahead and play this. There might be a turn sequence or cycle where it's necessary to do stuff. I mean, I guess... Like, they're at 22. We need to draw a card advantage engine, or they're just passing the turn. What is this? Green? Blue? Uro? Ooh, that's so bad for us. That's a good top deck. Where's mine? They endurance it. Okay, right. And now they have Verdant Catacombs. That can get Dryad Arbor, but Dryad Arbor we can block. Trying to trade? No trades. Okay, cool. Untap. Upkeep. Take a look at the top three. We get... What do we get? I'm looking for Jace, Expressive Iteration, Uro, things like that. Found the Snapcaster Mage again. There's only one in the deck, too, which is kind of crazy. Okay, that's not the worst, but it's also not that great. Um, is it crazy to pay for life here? It's got to be crazy, right? Because then we can't handle the Uro. Well, I mean, I guess we can, for the Uro, we can technically Prismatic Ending it, but I don't really want to Prismatic Ending if I don't have to. Snap, Ponder. I, I guess maybe I just should. There's no really way to get around this, right? Even if I... Well, I guess I could, like, Ponder into Endurance here. That would be maybe the, ooh, yes, yes, I want this. This is a good one. Okay, cool. All right, I think I am happy now with the position. Now the question is, yeah, 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 we have one, two, three, four, five, six mana, so we can technically next turn just let the Uro come through, untap, Jace, brainstorm into the island, seven mana, and that would give us what we need to prismatic ending the Uro and play Jace in the same turn. So you're gonna get this. They didn't fetch the Dryad Arbor, notably. But I think we have a, a game plan for the next few turns here. What's pretty remarkable to me is how they are still so, like, resource-heavy in this situation, despite the fact that, like, I've, I've expressive iteration, I've Sylvan library, I've done so much, and still, it's been tough. Okay. Actually, you know what? It's, it's probably better to keep this on top and then do this. And now we have technically blue, blue here. And if this gets force of willed, okay, it did not. They don't even have mana to do much else here. That's that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Let's go ahead and get rid of this now. We have white, red, blue, done. Now Uro's gone. I'm so tempted to attack here, but I feel like the only like things can only go wrong, right? Like they put Dryad Arbor into play, they attack, it's a yeah, I guess I can attack here. Hopefully I don't get punished for it. It's not like the oh, you know, they could have like ice fangs and things like that. We have another Force of Negation coming up, right? Underneath the Expressive Iteration. Hmm. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I, I don't know. It'll, it'll be tough. We'll see what happens. Black, green is... Oh, shoot. I will begrudgingly force this. Not exactly happy about it, but... Yeah. And now, if they have something like a Hull Breacher, they have to play it preemptively to stop the Library Trigger, but maybe they just want to do it in response to the Jace so that they don't have to worry about stuff. I don't know. We need to gain some life ASAP. And we shuffled our deck too, so it's not like... What is this? Yeah, this is main phase stuff. Okay. I, I think I put the expressive iteration on top of my deck as well. So even if we don't get the Sylvan Library, a Grist the Hunger Tide? Crap. Well, I guess we'll trade. Oh, wow. No trades. Wait, what? So they're just letting the Grist die? That's interesting. Okay. So Sylvan Library, hit yes. Okay. Put on top. Put on top. Red and blue i should have tapped the basic island there iteration so i'll put this into my hand this on the bottom this in exile iteration oh my god i'm trolling i'm trolling okay that's fine i suppose but then in order to play it i have to get rid of shark typhoon and endurance is that worth it plow this go for that i feel like i should just mm. all right we'll just go to three whatever what's the worst that can happen here I tapped the red sources because I wasn't expecting to iterate into iteration, if that makes sense. Oh, yeah, and this is way better. Uh, sure, so put the Uro on the, into my hand, Flooded Strand on the bottom, Prismatic Ending there. Okay, go for this. White, done. Uh, we've Now we attack Grist and second main, play Uro. Their deck doesn't have an answer to Uro outside of, like, hate pieces, I guess, so cool. I think we're fine... I think we're fine. I, I don't know. Maybe we're not fine. Like if they like rip a cocoa or something off the top, we've used two forces. We have a bunch left in the deck still. So 
It's possible. Wait, they didn't attack. Okay, interesting. It's possible that things can go bad. Oh, but we drew force. Okay, never mind. This game's a wrap. We just need to finish in time. It's actually really unfortunate because I was playing against this in the showcase today, and I wasn't really feeling the uh, the event. However, uh, let's see. Blue, green, blue, green. This, 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 and then... Sure, I'll just get rid of a Misty, I guess. Keep the cards in the graveyard since we actually literally have Snap and Jason there. What is this? Force of Will? Yeah, I'm okay with that. I'm just going to go ahead and brainstorm. Find another Uro, which I don't really want to cast. I think I'm just going to keep the Prismatic ending on top. Let's go ahead and attack and hold up Hardcast Force plus Plow. And that should be a sign, right? If I'm attacking with my Snapcaster Mages, that I'm comfortable with the situation that I am... Uh... Oh, wow, they're attacking me. Okay, that's that's kind of snazzy. I think uh got to respect that. Sure. So now I might just get rid of the Noble Hierarch for peace of mind, if that makes sense. Should maybe just brainstorm first, but yeah, this one seems very over. In fact, I'm going to brainstorm here, this position, even if, even if they had like the nuts, I think I would just like, like literally the demonic tutor challenge. Like if they, if they got to draw the perfect card from their deck every turn, like Coco into Coco into Coco, I think I would still be winning. So, uh, this is fine. This card doesn't really do anything at this stage of the game here. In fact, I don't even think it's that good in this matchup. So, yeah, and then this is just going to this is just gonna get him here. Ooh, they top deck the force. I'll go ahead and counter that. Blue, 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 blue. And then put everything in back into their deck so that they can't Uro. I like that they're still going for me, the dedication, you know what I mean? Okay, and they're going to concede here. All right, so for sideboarding, here's how I sideboarded earlier, and I kind of liked it. I like all of these cards, and I like these cards, and I like these cards. There's like a lot of stuff to bring in, but at the same time, I think there's a lot of stuff to cut as well. So I'm going to start by cutting the two force negations, and I'm going to cut two force of wills. I think we actually can just stay toe-to-toe -to -toe with their creatures. The really hard stuff is like dealing with like Uro and things like that. I think Sylvan Library is still going to be exceptional here. Their curve is super clunky, and they're not really aggressive. They're more on the uh, axis of uh, denying mana not the dying denying resources like like hull reacher opposition agent things like that so i'm not really like too crazy about mm, like forcing like 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 all okay how do i put this all of their cards line up pretty well with our answers right especially when we board in like red blast and things like that which is going to be good against like the baleful striction the ice pink waddles and the forces i feel like we don't necessarily need these cards because we have good stuff to do here on our own um i gotta think about what else to cut though because we need to find six more cards which is kind of incredulous yeah wow i don't know how i board it at all in fact maybe i'm just supposed to cut the forces entirely i think that's totally fine and if they coco they coco coco like like collected company is the only card i really care about and i think post board when we have like dress downs carpets all these sort of things i'm totally okay with uh is it crazy just cut both my basics Ooh, 20 lands 20 lands okay i might just do that and oh, we have loam which is not bad. I mean, 20 lands is kind of sketch. Maybe I can keep in like an island and then just cut a fetch land. Is that irresponsible? Like cut the scalding tarn? I don't think that's that bad. What about prismatic ending? How good is this card? I think that's pretty good. Loam seems pretty good as well. Dress down, pyroblast. The wasteland is pretty good too, right? Like I think wasteland is good. They might have a copy of Caracas in their deck. Ooh, still need to cut three more cards. That's so crazy. Uh, Shark Typhoon is potentially shavable. Not really necessary in this matchup. I think like between Uro and Jace, we should be doing fine. So that's nine cards. Is there something I should not be bringing in from the sideboard? I feel like everything here is kind of instrumental. So uh, rough. Not really sure what else to cut. So I guess I will. Okay, I'm going to cut one ending and then like one dress down and submit. Dress down is pretty good though. The reason I like dress down is because like, I mean, I kind of like panic, cut two cards there, but dress down, dress down is good because like it's... If they put um, stuff into play, like, uh, what is it called? Yeah, this one's fine. If they put stuff into play, like Leovold and Hallbreacher, Dress Down, like, allows me to cleanly answer things, which is, uh, I don't know, just something desirable here. Uh, let's go ahead and fetch before they get a chance to do weird stuff. And I guess I can get Savannah here and then just pass the turn, Forsake the Taiga for now. Uh, the deck when it has mana ramp is way different from when it doesn't have mana ramp. And like right now, it doesn't seem like it. I mean, it does have mana ramp, so I'm a little bit nervous about what could be. But let's just go ahead and start picking fights 
Uh, iteration is pretty good. The Red Blast is not pretty good. And then the Endurance is not pretty good here. So I'm inclined to just shuffle this for now. And then, yeah, Jace is honestly better than... Well, okay, it's not better than the Expressive Iteration, but I'd rather draw a mediocre Expressive Iteration and not draw, like, two bad draws or whatever, if that makes sense. Okay, Ice Fang Quaddle, sure. It doesn't have Death Touch, so I'm totally whatever about it. We'll see if they play another Mana Source here, but the Wasteland most likely will be used for my Uro more than anything else. If they don't have a Mana Source... Ooh. 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 That's, that's kind of crazy. I could... That's also kind of interesting, too, right? Dress Down does sort of stifle the... Uh, Dress Down does stifle the uh, the Birds of Paradise for a turn. Mm, okay. Well, this can get Volcanic Island, I guess. I should have done this on their upkeep, actually. My bad. They didn't do anything this turn, which is... Kind of nice for us, TBH. Okay, so this happens, and I'm going to go for the plow on the Birds of Paradise, and we'll see what happens from here. So they're floating blue mana, which is fine. And now, what is this? Opposition Agent? Okay, sure. Opposition Agent is fine. I said I was going to get Volcanic Island, which is also acceptable. Now, I'm going to go ahead and just play Dress Down. Yeah, yeah, this is good. I got two options here. I could either Uro into Wasteland, or I could... I don't think they have Force, so I'm just going to do this. Play the Uro as a 6-6, six, six, and now play Wasteland, and then just, like, bury them. Uh, I think I will get rid of the Tropical Island. It enables more of their deck, like Green Sun Zenith. It enables Collected Company. It enables Birds and... uh yeah okay excellent 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 situation opponent is saying not hitting land drops is big oof and i do kind of agree with that i feel like um when i played the deck i do feel like uh, when i played the deck um it was just important to always have that sort of early early acceleration so being able to stifle that with removal spells being able to stifle that with wasteland is kind of freaking awesome actually uh let's go ahead and play the taiga okay See if they block. I don't think they do. All right, prismatic ending this guy away. Red and then blue. Okay. And then finally, I'll grab a tundra here and ponder. And now we have pyroblast. Ooh, yeah, these are juicy. These are very good. Cool. So now we have pyroblast open for whatever they play this turn. If it's like a brainstorm, if it's like a baleful strix, looks like they're just going to discard here, which is awesome for us. And then I guess we get to slam J. Oh, they discarded Uro. Well, yeah, that's 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 fine. That is all according to plan. Very nice. Okay, swing, attack trigger, gain three life, draw a card, put the Misty into play here. Uh, I think they should block because now, well, I guess Uro doesn't really do anything. But one of the ways they could technically get back into the game is by playing um, what is that card called? Carpet of Flowers and. Uh, I think that's the only thing that I'm like truly conscious of at this point. Double Endurance is also insane. This will allow us to put in some good pressure. Actually, probably should have just played Endurance this turn instead, right? Well, I mean, like if we just keep attacking and drawing cards, like it's it's fine, right? Like I don't think this is the kind of deck that really needs to find like very optimized lethal because yeah, I'm not surprised by this at all. Yeah, and they had the Carpet of Flowers too, so hitting the green source was super smart. Yeah, but this deck can take its time with the kill. Slow, painful. Uh, like a boa constrictor of sorts. Um, yeah, so origin, or initial thoughts on the deck already. Wasteland has been just an absolute banger, uh, and, I'm, and I'm pretty happy about it. I don't think there's a second one in the sideboard, but I may just be considering it. Like Just like Uro plus Wasteland is such a powerful combination of cards that uh, I'm, I'm pretty, pretty stoked about it. So uh, appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget, if you uh, enjoy the content, to uh, follow, subscribe. Check me out on Twitch for the live streams. I'm in Hawaii this week, so I won't be uh, streaming uh, this week. But you know, once I get back, it's gonna be it's gonna be a good time. And then, uh, yeah. Also, if you're interested in coaching, check out the Medify page as well, Medify.gg. There will be links in the description below, so be sure to to look out for that. And uh, yep, thanks. Appreciate it. See you for the next video.